There he goes. Yeah! And that's why you use SSAAP. When you really don't want to guess how many mil dots down, you need to shoot. <laughs> How's it going everybody? My name's Chipper and welcome back to another video on Escape from Tarkov. So in today's video, we're bringing back the AK-101 because it's recently had some buffs where it's now 38 vertical recoil and 115 horizontal recoil with meta mods. So some of the mods that we're actually going to be running with this build are the RK-2 grip. Now you can use the forward to shift for some extra ergonomics, but I went for maximum recoil reduction with this build. Um, we're also running the um, RK uh, Customs Arm uh, Grip, new pistol grip, the P, uh, Zenit um, PT3. We're also running the Voodoo. Now, the, the TAC-30 is probably better for the one-time zoom and spotting. However, the Voodoo six times is probably the best scope for long-range shooting and getting those uh, clean headshots, which is really important with this sort of setup. So that's why we're going with the Voodoo. Um, however, it is choose your poison here. It's whatever works best for you. Um, we're also running the AK Troy Industry Handguard. Now we are running the um, uh, the muzzle device adapter, the flash hider from the Silencer Co. and the Silencer Co. sound suppressor to get maximum recoil. And that's probably why this AK-101 build is actually quite good and starting to surpass the standard AKs, AK-74s and stuff like that is because it's starting to get the benefits of the, a, uh, the M4 um, parts as well so that's why this build is probably quite low on the recoil stats for an AK but the best advantage is is it has ridiculous muzzle velocity um, at a thousand and eighty seven now in order to hit an a thousand and eighty seven you will need to use the um, newer round from last wipe is the SSA AP now this round only has 36 flesh damage which does have some problems against pmcs it's not too bad i find that it doesn't really hit the problem where um it doesn't have penetration problems but against scavs it has a problem even just normal scavs can sometimes have 40 hp in the head um, which will require at least two shots to actually down them with this round which can be quite frustrating at times when you do get a headshot so it's just something to just be mindful of but don't forget too, this round, this build is not designed to, uh, for CQB. You should always be trying to engage your opponents at least 100 meters away in order to use the muzzle velocity to your advantage. The other um, thing is, is that you don't need to run all your mags with SSAP. I only run the main mag, um, the first mag with this. So that's the main sniping um, magazine. Then I actually have another mag, which has just M995 in it, a bit more flesh damage. The idea is, is that it's a bit more flesh damage, but I hopefully have busted their armor enough where the extra flesh damage probably comes into it. But it's still a fast round if I need to shoot long range in case I need to reload. But then the other two mags, which are just standard magazines, are packed full with M855A1, just, just in case I need them. And that's mostly just a cost, uh, a benefit thing as well. Just trying to save a little bit of money um, not necessarily using um, the expensive SSA. SSA rounds and M995 rounds are relatively around the same price, 1200 to 1400, depending on the market. So they are quite expensive. But again, like I said, you don't necessarily need to use a lot of rounds with these, depending on the situation you're in. Maps um, specifically like Reserve uh, and um, especially Woods really shine with this AK-101 build. There's heaps of angles and heaps of areas where you can position yourself or even traverse the map where you're easily shooting over 100 meters. So that's where this gun really can shine. But it doesn't mean that it's not limited to those maps. You can definitely use it on others um, because the advantage of having this gun too is that the rounds fire so fast that you don't necessarily need to lead the target at all, especially in even in CQB around that like 25, 50 meter range. The rounds can actually hit so quick 
that you don't actually have to lead the target at all. And this can actually be really beneficial for people who like running across the room to try and peek when they when they hop between rooms and do the, the, the free look to see where you're positioned. You can actually shoot them halfway through their run because you've actually got the extra muzzle velocity compared to say like the BP rounds, which are quite common in the Mark 47, which only have 600 to 700 velocity. You've got over 400 meter velocity and it, and it really does make a difference. And that, in my opinion, is really where muzzle velocity needs to be considered meta in a way. Um, I think it's really slept on. I think it's a play style that's really not really enforced a lot. I think CQB is heavily um, just because of the loot and the way the maps are designed. But it doesn't mean it's the only thing you can do in Escape from Tarkov. And right now, I think the AK-101 in the muzzle velocity is meta in my opinion i absolutely love it it's it's definitely not necessarily the best meta but it is a meta that should be considered um heavily in your builds um if you want to change up your play style and um, do some long mid to long range sniping it is absolutely key so definitely give this build a go i absolutely love it um it is insanely good fun bit of a heavy gun though at 6.7 kilos i must admit but in saying that though you'll absolutely love it if you if you're definitely a person who's mid to long range and likes getting those crisp clean crisp clean headshots finally got there anyway guys i'll probably leave it at that i'll show you some highlights of this gun in action so you can determine it if you like it for yourself and don't forget guys i do stream on twitch uh sundays wednesdays and fridays starting at utc um plus 11 so i'd love to have you guys come in there and um, ask any questions um i would really appreciate that and until next time, I'll see you back out there. Oh, you got to be kidding. He's dead, yeah. I think he got one bullet off. <laughs> he was loud, too. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Why? You piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were joking around. Where the hell did he run off to? Oh shit! Is there two or only one? That one's on the frickin' hill as well.
Jesus. What the frick is going on over there? Someone just shot someone over there too. Hmm. We gotta reload. The poor guy that was shooting at me. Things did not go his way. shit kill that's why it's, uh, uh, to be honest it's one of the reasons why I came here is to cut off this point in case someone was trying to exit just so I could cover His mate trying to get a better angle. Yeah, there is so many bodies all over the place, isn't there? Groups of people as well. <laughs> as soon as I saw the muzzle flash, I'm like, oh, there he is. <laughs> Actually, I should check. Do I get a grenade kill? That's what I was afraid of. He's been looted. Ripper do. Oh, 
Hey, you have to find that guy. <laughs> Should be able to find him. Hope he's alone, that's the biggest question. Trying to get shooter born. Wow, that's actually really hard to see anyone. It's almost not enough magnification. Actually, I gotta be careful too, because someone could be spawned over that side, couldn't they? Such a calming stream. I appreciate that, dude. Ash 12. Big header. Be fine. Shoot a bond in heaven. Complete. Oh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> Damn it. I wasn't expecting him to be crouched. I think he, I think he knows where I am now, though. Yeah, he does. I'm assuming old mate he's not over there anymore. A third? Really? Someone actually shooting at me or? Man, you serious? I got one behind me and one in front of me. Yeah, Ash 12 from the distance. I don't think I got the Ash 12 guy. I should have went under. Oh, it was psychotic, Jordan, you prick. <laughs> oh, I did get the other dude. Fuck. Oops.
like he's the only one. That's just, that's just bully. Was that the only one? I like how quiet the gun is. It's just like, boop. <laughs> Poor dude. <laughs> the bully is real. I'm telling you, dude, that. So much fun these rounds, they're so underrated. <laughs> Come on, damn it. <laughs> Just give me my teapot. You're right there, you're, you're right there, go. Yeah, pow, pow, pow. Ah. <laughs> Many bleeds. feeling. I reckon they're leaving. Yeah. Shit, they must have heard me. Grenade kill. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyway. Uh
That's worth it just right there, isn't it? <laughs> He's around here, yeah. There's only two of them. I almost stuffed that up. What? He actually saw me? Not good. He must have just literally did a full 360 spin. Bitch. You got a big backpack. I think there was someone in the distance too.
But he bolted that way. Another dead scav. Could he be upstairs? Try for the duo extract on the highway, maybe. I mean, I can. Hopefully, no one cocks me. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be player scouts wanting to do it, so. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we just wait it out? Try and do the player extract one? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I thought he was a dead body. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. He's behind the fucking box. Thanks for watching another video guys. If you really enjoy this content, I really appreciate a like. It really does help me out. As well as if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you back out there.